The COVID-19 vaccine expands to even more people. Many are reporting side effects. Those include pain at the injection site, fever, chills, tiredness, headaches, and nausea. But doctors say these common post-vaccine symptoms should not make people weary of getting vaccinated. And there are ways to minimize those effects. Joining me now is Dr. Shrag Patel, the Assistant Chief Medical Officer at UF Health Jacksonville. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Absolutely. Good morning to you. What does it mean when people experience these symptoms? Yeah, typically what's happening in your body is you're producing an immune response, and that's what we want. Uh, it doesn't mean that if you don't get side effects that you're not producing immune response. But when you do, the typical uh, reason for that is, is simply your body's working. Your immune system is kicking into action. You know, um, I was able to receive uh, my first dose from uh, Publix. They do a waste avoidance protocol program, as do many other store locations. And so I've received uh, the first dose of one brand that requires two shots. Uh, my mom and my brother, they received the same brand. Uh, they all experienced side effects, not after the first dose, but after the second dose. I did not experience any side effects after the first dose, but I am nervous about getting that second dose because of those impacts. Are there things that I can do now to prepare for that second dose to minimize any uh, symptoms? I think the first thing is just awareness. So realizing that definitely more side effects have been reported after the second dose than were reported after the first dose. And, and that's just simply because your immune system is, is already ramped up it is ready to recognize something else that's foreign that's coming in. And so after you get your second shot in the series, that could be expected to have more side effects. Um, there are several common side effects that have been reported with this, such as redness, swelling and pain at the injection site, uh, as well as fatigue, headache, muscle aches, chills, fevers, and nausea. Um, and so these are things to, just to be aware of. Uh, in order to try to reduce some of these things, for example, injection site discomfort, uh, you can apply ice or a cooler wet washcloth over the area. Uh, you can gently massage or rub the area as well as do some light exercise with that arm you're gonna get it in. Um, uh, leading up to the vaccine, hydrating well, eating a healthy diet, making sure that you're well rested uh, is extremely important. Uh, one thing that's underemphasized is avoiding stressors. Uh, we've seen quite a few reactions or reported reactions due to people who have been very anxious or have had panic attacks because they are anticipating something bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, minimizing stressors leading up to your vaccine, making sure that you're well rested leading up to your vaccine is going to help put your mind at ease the morning of or the day of your vaccine. Dr. Patel, what about taking any pain relievers such as Tylenol or ibuprofen? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, typically, if you're if you're having discomfort at the injection site uh, enough or if you're having a fever, uh, you can always take something like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Those are things like Tylenol or Motrin or Advil. That's assuming you don't have any conditions that would keep you from doing so safely. Uh, if you've got questions before you're going to self-medicate with one of those over-the-counter medications, make sure you contact your healthcare provider and get them answered. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and answering our questions. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Take care.